you had for the other presentations. If you, for, for some reason, have misplaced it, I may have a few more. Take out a sheet of paper. Take notes. Show of hands, how many of you completed the grammar test that's on Blackboard? How many of you were fairly pleased with the score? Okay. One at a time. Okay. It won't open up. I click on it, it won't do nothing. It just said, um, you've already taken it? No, I took it, babe. I didn't finish it. You know the If you've already taken it, it won't allow you to retake. But I will make that note so that I will open up again. I'll just see how many you got correct when you were taking it the first time. I didn't mind everything. You had messed up and I did like it. I didn't mind like a few minutes though. That's beautiful. Yeah, mine was up. My wife, I didn't mind. We all got beautiful. Everybody has technical problems. Okay. We'll just do an old fashioned test. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can do it like that. We can do that. Wow. 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 Okay, guys, I need you to pull up what you need. Yes, I do. I do. Can you give me just a second, please? Is it coming off? Why are we doing these grammar? Teams. To fix our essays. What are you fixing? Our mistakes. Okay. This is called editing. And what's the difference between editing and revising? Someone please tell me the difference. What does it mean? We went through revising. What did you do to your paper in the revision stage? Revision stage. Thank you. Say it again. Okay, specific problems. We start with the common problems. College students, as well as people in general, <laughs> make uh, mistakes with, give me some common problems. Spelling. Spelling. Commas. Commas. Right, capitalization, subject verb agreement. Your grammar notes, please. Do you have them? All right, I'm going to pass the sheet around. This group will look at what is your group? Subject verb agreement. Subject verb, agreement. come walk across so you're on camera, please. Okay. Thank you. Pass them out. Subject verb agreement. Just write it on there. Just write it on there. Thank you. Okay. Those of you with out your original copy of your grammar group, it had front and back. Just start with group one, if this is a fresh sheet, and say group eight, subject verb agreement. Remember, you're listening for rules and you also are asking questions to get answers if you have had problems with subject verb agreement and the group has addressed all the, the problems, great. But if you still don't understand, this is your opportunity to ask as well as give uh, your group an opportunity to give a grammar tip how not to make the mistake if you are making the mistakes in your papers. Remember I'm looking at uh, for group as you are presenting how much you know as well as how you have prepared to engage your classmates. They have their numbers so are you expecting groups to answer questions, perhaps? Yes, okay, great. I need the board. My point is going to be on, I don't need no six. Okay.
I, it's okay. It's okay. I know. It, I, I believe me. I, I know. It does look a little funny. Okay. We'll move Hamlet. Okay, is the projector on yet? No. Okay, guys, any more questions about what we're going to do next week? We are in the Writing Center next week to put together Wednesday and Friday. Okay, you probably need to put a chair right here. You mind me sitting next to you, sir? Thank you. Okay. There we go. Oh. Very important part. that at the back of there, please. It may be okay without it. Got it? I'll do it. If it doesn't fit one way, it goes the other way. Going. Hit lights. Are you going to start with the lights on or off? All right, class, please listen up. Um, our presentation will be about subject of agreement. I am here, Mom. This is the Peter. Okay, we're right here, and this is Mom. To actually get the concept of what is subject or agreement, you have to understand the definition. Subject or agreement is when the subject and verb correspond in number. Like I say, she is going to the mall. She is singular and is is plural. Subject, verb, rules. Rule one. Subject, subject and verb correspond even when separated. Example, the relationship between artists and politicians has become a contra controversial issue. Rule two, use singular verbs and collective nouns. Example, if a military team fights without spirit and will, it will be probably It will probably lose. That's okay, that's okay. All right, before you move, please, uh, let's look at the rule. Those of you who are taking notes, I hope that means everyone's taking notes. Uh, do you understand rule one and rule two? Where is the verb? Okay, the verb is has. Okay, and the subject is relationship. Because so as is plural because the relationship is single. No, 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 say it one more time. Okay. In the sentence, the relationship between artists and politicians has become a controversial issue. The sense is talking about the relationship, and has is the, is the verb. So basically, the relationship is single, right? It's talking about one relationship. So has is going to be plural. Has is going to be singular. Yeah. It's singular. Correct? Okay. And the second one, please. If a military team fights without spirit and will, it will probably 
Other group members, help out. Okay, talk to your classmates and make sure if you were a little reluctant uh, in answering because you weren't sure, I'd like for you to be sure. What is a collective noun or collective subject? Okay. Okay. The individuals that make up the unit would be the team, correct? Right. Okay. And if it is a unit, it means it's one. So fights, is it singular or plural? Okay. I want I don't want to try to embarrass this group. Not at all. I'd like for all of you to pay attention. This is a mistake so many students make when writing. Adding an S to a verb makes it what? Lower. S to a verb. Listen carefully. An S to a verb makes it singular. Okay. If we said, wait, go back. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Go find it, please. At the bottom. Just go to. Okay. There we go. Sorry about that. Please put this in your notes. When you look at your subject and verbs, when you're writing your sentences, for your essays, when you are editing, if the verb is a regular verb, such as fight, to fight, if you can put the infinitive to in front of it, to fight, to walk, to talk, and you're saying a singular person, John walks, John talks. The team, because it's a unit, is one. So in this case, the team fights with an S. So adding an S to a regular verb will make it singular. If we had several people, for example, with the military team, if we had soldiers, and that's plural with an S, it would be fight without the S. Is that clear? Yes. Oh, great. Okay, continue please, group. Run them through the verb, please. Verb, please, with subject after each. So, there are no basic lines and brush strokes in the paint. The subject is. Basic lines and brush strokes. And the verb is are. Very good. Go ahead. Run four. Use a poor verb with compound subject. So she and her husband have a partnership. She and her husband is the subject and have is a verb. What's a compound? One more time. It's been two, two sections together to make one. Okay. Run five. Use a verb that agrees with the antecedent of the pronouns who, which, and are they. So example, each staff consists of 19 people who drive to work. Staff is the subject and and drive is first. Rather than a subject, complement, example, 
The shark's favorite diet is elephant seals and sea lions. So what is the subject here? Diet and the Okay. <laughs> okay. That ends your presentation? No, we have some questions to answer. Okay. Since you all didn't clap, they decided to, you clap? Okay, give them a hand. Okay, could you hit the lights, please? Do you want to? <laughs> Talk to your classmates. Okay. Okay, please give us the instructions and let so them know what Taylor's it. going to do is he's going to read the questions and he's going to point someone to um, pick the right bird that agrees with the subject. Uh, group one. He came, he came this morning, but he had did or done his work already. Yeah. It done. That's correct. <laughs> That's correct. D is the subject and it's singular. Therefore, done is the correct term. Even though the subject and verb are separate, they should be even in. <laughs> Group five. He Group don't or doesn't always listen. Group five. Did you hear the question? He don't or doesn't always listen to me. That's correct again. She is the subject, the singular, and doesn't is the is the answer. Plural. All right. Group two. The coach insists insists that I do ten belly flops. Okay, explain that one, please. Culture is the subject, and insist is verb, and it's supposed to be plural. And is supposed to be plural, I mean, be plural when it's a verb. No, 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 no. She's supposed to be singular. Single. The coach is singular. Mm -hmm. So the verb is with or without the S. With the with S. To make it singular. Mm -hmm. Correct. This for anybody. Each of the birds take or takes its turn. Uh, he hasn't had a chance. I'm sorry. Each of the birds take or takes its turn in the nest. Say it again. Each of the birds take or takes its turn in the nest. Take, take. Say take. Take. Spell it, please. T a k. No. 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 Okay, please, and it seems as if some of your classmates are having a problems with this, especially when you're talking about the pronoun each. Each is what? Singular. Singular. So each individual. Okay. Got another one? Each of the birds, I mean, each is a bird, and each is a subject which is singular. Okay. The committee. Which group? Is, that group six there. Yeah. I right, group six. The committee is our meeting in the big ro rowboat. The what? The committee is <laughs> our meeting in the big rowboat. Or. Oh, yeah. Okay. Why would you not? Uh, Say committee are. What's the problem? It's talking about the committee in particular. It's not talking about the plural committee. Okay. And committee is what type of subject? What kind of noun is it? A collective noun. Okay. Committee is singular because the only one committee is being told, talked about, so it's a split verb. Good one. 
we or us brothers decided to throw a big party for our father? We are, we, we are us brothers decided to throw a big party for our father. You said us? Mm -hmm. I didn't say this. You said us. Yes, we Because Steve, the person in the Senate is talking about themselves and others. So it's going to be losing. I got you. Decided to throw the subject in plural, and it is in plural, so we hit the Senate. Okay. Is it our presentation? Okay. Well, do you have any questions for this group? As you put down notes, and some of you were a little hesitant about answering, you weren't quite sure, what tip would you uh, expect this group to give you to help you remember? Any tips? Remember, sing, put on, um, remind sentences, singular, plural, or plural, singular. It's not plural, plural, single, singular. And this common mistake is made. So you remember subject when it's singular, your verb is automatically plural. No, 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 no. You, I know what you're saying, but I don't think it's coming out. Okay, take a pen, please. One more on the board. Okay, let's take a simple verb or uh, let's do talk. We talk, okay? No, no. Oh, no, no, no. We talk. Okay, period. This is a simple sentence. We talk. Now write another sentence right under it. He. Talk. Is it talk or talks? Okay, now explain the difference. Okay, the difference is we talk, we is talking about more than one person. So it's gonna automatically be talk. He is talking about one person if he's talking so he's gonna follow by a pool. Not I mean a secret. Okay. All right. No 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 stop stop. Walk uh the space. Move over a little bit. In that space I'd like for you to write a couple of nouns. Um ball. Write ball. Pen. Book. Okay, and above it, write nouns. <coughs> okay, this is for the class also. These are fairly common nouns, correct? Yes. Are they plural or singular? Plural. How many plural. do you see up there? Three. Each word. One. One each. There's one ball, one pen, and one book. Those are nouns. To add an S to that noun makes it what? Go ahead and write an S. Now how many do you have? Multiple. Multiple. Okay. So to add an S to a noun, a common noun, it makes it what? Plural. All right, let's go back over here to the verb. Talk, we have talk and talks. By adding the S, you're not making it plural. What are you doing? Singular. Making it singular. And that's where there's some confusion, okay? We talk, there are multiple people talking. He talks, it's just one person talking. Therefore, the S represents a singular and without the S on the verb, and write verb over talk. Just make sure the difference. And recognizing a noun and a verb. 
Don't get those confused. You're making it plural when you take away the S if it's a verb. You're making it um, singular when you add the S to the verb. Anyone confused? All right. Thank you, group. Okay. Give them another hand. All right, that's the last group uh, going. Yes, do we have another group? Group five. Group five. Come on. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> no. We're okay. No, 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 no. All right. What I'd like for you to do now, we're, uh, we're finished all the groups. You have started. If not, you have until today, the end of the day, 11.59 tonight, to do the grammar test on Blackboard. Those of you who have had issues, technical issues, timing issues, I need to speak with you individually. I'll write your name and I will make a hard copy of the test for you to take. All I have to do is print it out. No retake. No retake. Do you have your checklist? Does everyone have, please take your checklist out. If you did not bring it today, I have a few extra copies. You have yours? Okay, good. Pass it around. Those of you who had your comparing contrast essay for me to look at and I gave you some feedback on, I would like for you now to take your early childhood essay and do the exact same thing. I need you to print out a copy. Just print. Don't make any changes to the working portfolio. Print your revised early childhood. Is everybody got it? Okay, listen up. You might need to jot this down. If you can write on the back, write it down. On Monday, when you come to class, you will take this checklist. If you've not done it with your compare and contrast, I need to give you another one. But take this checklist that you have today, a new one. You're going to take your printout, a hard copy of your early childhood narrative. You're going to answer these questions. Did you format it correctly? What does that mean? What style are we using? MLA. What's in the upper left-hand corner? What is that all called? The heading, I-N-G. So the heading has to be in MLA style. What's in the upper right corner? Header which is your last name and what? Number. Page number, yay. Number two is the title of your essay in the center after your heading, okay? Is the title, and this does not have, uh, this is not on your checklist, but is your title catchy or is it simply early childhood essay? If it's simply early childhood essay, what should you do? Change it. Okay. Is the, uh, did number three, number four, is the entire essay double spaced? Do you double space between the title and where your first word starts in your essay? No. Yes. What did I just say? Everything is double spaced. Yeah. Okay. Everything is double spaced. Have I consistently used either first or third person? Which person did you use with your narrative? Which, which person? First or third? First, let me hop First. What is first person? Me and who else? I. I. Okay. If 
if you decided in your compare and contrast to use first person, that was okay. But don't start switching. And several of you shifted from first person, third person, second person. Do not use you unless it is in the introduction as the attention grabber.